In this video, we are going to look at how electrons are arranged around the nucleus of an atom. So when we look at the nucleus of an atom, we see electrons orbiting around it, and they're distributed based on a set of principles, in that the maximum number of electrons in which a shell can occupy is generally different. So let's look at an empty set of shells around a nucleus. You will usually be given an element, and therefore you will be given a proton number. This number will tell you how many protons there are in the nucleus, and therefore, since the atom is neutral, the number of electrons in the atom. All right. So we can use a set of rules to find out how the electrons, based from the number of protons that you are given from the element, we can use that to find out the electron configuration of an element. So the first thing we have to do is to fill up the first shell. And the first shell can only occupy two electrons. So the first two electrons that you must consider basically fill up the first shell. For example, this is the helium atom with a nucleus and two electrons around it. All right, so, And then we must fill up the second shell after and this shell can fill up to 8 electrons. So we will fill these right after. Simple. That is basically a full second shell. Now the third shell will get a little bit more complicated because it can occupy up to 18 electrons. Now that is a crowded area. So we must see how they are distributed. So first of all, to distribute the 18 electrons that are incoming, we are going to fill up the third shell first with 8 electrons. So let's go and fill the shells up with 8 electrons. And then the fourth shell will then fill up with 2 electrons. And then finally the third shell will resume filling up with the remaining 10 electrons. All right. So let's look at some summary notes that you must take away from this video. How we are able to arrange the electrons around an atom will be based on the concept of filling up shells based on principles, which are that the first shell can occupy to two electrons, the second shell can occupy the next eight electrons, and the third shell will occupy 18 electrons, where it will occupy the first eight in the third shell, and then in the, second sh uh, in the fourth shell, it will occupy two electrons, and then the remaining 10 will be occupied in the third shell as it resumes filling up. So thank you for watching my video. Hope to see you next time. Hope you watch my previous video on atomic structures and electrons. Thank you very much.